This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And where do we go from here? Gut wrenching performance yesterday. I can't even say it's a gut wrenching loss because from the opening drive at the beginning of the game, it was a letdown. Now, opening drive three and out kind of sets the table for the rest of the game. Uh, if you watch the rest of the game, but um, haven't rewatched it yet. I uh, don't think I have the stomach to rewatch it yet. Um, at some point today, I'll rewatch it and give you my thoughts on it, maybe. Um, but the thing is, where do we go from here? Obviously, the roster is going to be different. Uh, we got a lot of guys with contracts expiring, got a lot of decisions to make. I don't think we have a lot of money to work with. Obviously, we got the two big contracts we have to work around, Lamar on one side, Roquan on the other. Then you have some guys up under those two that are pretty close that make a whole bunch of money, but I don't think earn that type of money this year. So what decisions will be made on those guys? So what I plan to do in this video is to calmly take you through a few things. Um, first off, I'm going to show you um, like who is the guys that are with the contracts ending? Uh, just talk about the salary cap for a minute and how you know what our projected number will look like once the guys that are on their last year how they come off. Uh, then give you my list of free agents that I would like to have on the team. Now I'm going to put a bunch of guys in in different categories. Um, and there's no certain order when I get to that free agent list. It's just I took a look at the list and I wrote down some names that I would love to have. I don't know how the money would work, but it's just, you know, I'm going to give you my my wish list, so to speak. Um, so let's kind of get right into it. Let's talk about all the guys that are free agents. So I can get it up right here. All right, this is a list of guys that are free agents. All these guys here. Now, on this list, you'll see a, a boatload of names. Boatload of names. Let me get them in front of me, too, so I can see them, too. Uh, for the Ravens, Baltimore. And all this, most, of this, most of this information is coming from the Sport Track website. All right, so on this list, you have Odell Beckham Jr., Kevin Zeitler, Gus Edwards, Rocky Sin, Nelson Aguilar, Patrick Queen, Tyler Huntley, Jadavian Clowney, Ronald Darby, J.K. Dobbins, Josh Johnson, Justin Matter BK, Darrell Worley, Brent Urban, Laquan Treadwell, Devin Duvernay, Malik Harrison, Arthur Marlett, Trayvon Mullen, uh, John Simpson, and our Darius Washington. That's a boatload of names. So that's a, that's a ton of names on that list. Now, we'll tell you this, that that's a significant amount of players and guys that contributed a lot uh, Odell, Zeidler, Gus, Aguilar, Queen, Clowney, Darby, J.K., Matt B.K., Urban, Duvernay Malik, John Simpson. That's that's a lot of guys. And we're, you know, when the season ended, I think we had about four or five million cap dollars left. And so what I'm going to do now is I made a spreadsheet and I pull the spreadsheet up. Let me get myself out the way. On this spreadsheet. There are the players at each position and how much they make over here in the far right. Over here in the far right. This is how much they make at each one. Now, the bottom I have, when I add them all together, how much it is. Now, the salary cap is supposed to be right around $240 million. And so right here you see I have 281 But once we take these guys off, we'll kind of have a general idea of what we have. And, again, this is a guesstimation because I'm not the, the numbers guy. Uh, this is just how my logical brain thinks with trying to see how much money we have and the players we're not going to have. 
So I'm just going to delete these guys. All these guys in the yellow, they get deleted. The guys in the blue are the top five money getters on our team, and we'll address them in a second. The Tyler Huntley and Josh Johnson, they come off. J.K. Dobbins, come off. Contract ends. Gus Edwards comes off. Duvernay and Aguilar ends. Treadwell ends. Simpson ends. Zeitler ends. PQ ends. Malik and Van Noy over. Clowney over, which was a deal. At a BK over. Urban over. Rocky Sin over, thankfully. Ronald Darby over. Marlette and Ardarius Washington over. Dow Worley over. Tyler Ott, it was a long snapper. His is over. So, taking all those guys off. Oh, Odell Beckham. Over. All right, taking all those guys off, that puts us at $221 million. So, if the cap is supposed to be two forty. dollars that gives you about nineteen million dollars. About nineteen million dollars. Uh, oh, these damn these randoms at the bottom coming off too. All right. So now let me let me rechange change my number. Cap's supposed to be two hundred and forty million. Now you have you're sitting at two hundred and thirteen. So that gives you twenty seven million to kind of play with in free agency. But now, look at the top five guys. The top five guys: Lamar Jackson, fifty two mil. Which you know that that is what it is. Roquan twenty mil. That is what it is. Those are the top two guys. Ronnie Stanley nineteen seven. That's a lot for the production we got. Marcus Williams, who's played solidly, just need to stay healthy. Fourteen million. So you know maybe Marcus is okay, but another nineteen five for Marlon. That that got to be changed. I don't know how to change it or what it's gonna do to change it. Now I don't advocate to get rid of Ronnie or Marlon. But that 19 million need to come off so we can get some better players. Like, I don't know how to restructure, how that situation or how that process goes. But for them counting 19 million, 38 million, what? Maybe 39 million dollars for those two guys. It don't match the production in my eyes. Not to me. Maybe to some it don't. I mean, it does. But going off last year, it don't match the production. Because and this is probably taboo to say, but. Brandon Stevens was the best corner this year. I know Marlon was hurt a little bit toward the end. I probably shouldn't even play yesterday, honestly. But Brandon Stevens was the best corner even when Marlon was healthy this year, in my eyes. In my eyes. All right, so the cap's supposed to be, again, 240-ish. So we're looking at maybe 27 to $30 million to work with uh, in free agency. Now, let's flip over to my free agent list. All right, so that's those are the, the players again. And so my free agent list, what I did was I went on sport track. I looked at all the guys that were potential free agents coming up in this this year right here when the new year starts, new league year starts. And so um I found I found some running backs that I would like. I found some wide receivers I would like. I found some edge guys I would like, D-line and linebackers. I didn't find any old linemen and cornerbacks that that jumped out to me and say, Hey, I think we need to sign those guys. So what that tells me is our focus should be cornerback and O-line in the draft and maybe receiver. But I, I got some receivers on this list, though. But I think our focus should be cornerback and O-line in the draft, you know, until now. And then once free agency rolls through and people we see who's signed and if we sign anybody, then that focus may shift to something else. But let's go through my free agent want list. First up, running backs. Uh, on my, want, my wish list. Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley, Tony Pollard, DeAndre Swift. I think we kick the tires on all these dudes and kind of see what they're looking for. And if it fits what, you know, in where we're at and what we can do, go for it. I think a backfield with Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, or Saquon Barkley is top tier. I think that's elite. I can, I can deal with Tony Pollard because he can run the ball between the tackles outside and catch the ball. And DeAndre Swift, too. DeAndre Swift's a good inside zone runner, and that's kind of what we need to start moving to, spreading it out and running inside and outside zone. But I think elite status for our backfield would be Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, and Saquon. And I personally 
like to me, if I had to pick one of those guys like to have, it would be Josh Jacobs. Because I'm going for I'm thinking for production and youth. Josh Jacobs was only like 25. Uh they're hearing 30. Saquon, maybe like 25, or whatever. But then you have a little bit of the injury with with Saquon. But you know, Saquon and Lamar in the backfield, that would go crazy. Second wish list, we're gonna talk about wide receivers. On my wish list for wide receivers, and I see I can't really see it well, so I'll um I'll call it out. It's Mike Evans, Marquise Brown. Yes, that Marquise Brown, T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley, and Michael Pittman Jr. Uh, these five guys are, you know, I would take one of these guys. And, and my wish list is just for one person, not the whole list. I would take one of these guys and would love to have them on the squad. Um, just any of those five to pair with Zay and Likely and Andrews and, you know, run it. Run it. That, that's a good list in my opinion, but I don't know if we can afford them, guys. Again, this is a wish list. All right. Uh, again, I talked about no old lineman that jumped out to me that I would sign. So I had to do my research on that. But I slid on over to the edge. And this is my wish list for the edge position. Chase Young, Josh Allen, not the quarterback, Josh Allen for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, re-signed Jadavion Clowney. Uh, Josh Uche, who had very productive year years in New England. And Jonathan Grenard. Or Grenard, who had a, a great year in Houston this past year. Any one of these five guys to, if we don't re-sign Clowney of Vanoy, I would, you know, love to have on the team to kind of fit what we do, especially if Mike stays. Going over to defensive line, interior defensive line. Now, I don't know why this didn't show up right. But I'll tell you my interior defensive line, guys. Um, Justin Matter BK, re-signing Justin Matter BK. That's priority number one for me. Um, Christian Wilkins, the interior defensive line guy for Miami Dolphins, and Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox. Um, throw Fletcher Cox in that interior D line to help with the run stuffing and then work what we got on the edges. You know, I think it'll work for a one year deal. Like if, if we re sign Justin Matter BK or Christian Wilkinson, I could I could see multiple years. But Fletcher Cox will, I think, could be that one year patch patch guy until we, you know, draft somebody or sign somebody in free agency next year if we can't get Matt BK to resign. Uh, and moving over to the linebackers. My offseason wishes, wishes like a wish list at linebacker. Obviously, my number one guy is Pat Queen. I don't think it can happen, but it is what it is. So another guy on this list is his draft, uh, draft mate, so to speak, Jordan Brooks from Seattle. Uh, Josie Jewell, if you don't know Josie Jewell, is a linebacker for the, the um, Broncos, who's pretty solid. Isaiah Frim Simmons, the athletic freak, who's a free agent this year. Uh, you can do probably do a number of different things, and I, I like the way Mike thinks. I think he can get a lot out of Isaiah Simmons, putting him in different situations, I mean, use him in different situations. And just imagine Isaiah Simmons and Kyle Hamilton on the field at the same time with so many matchups that they can do, because Simmons can play safety and linebacker. And lastly, Willie Gay. Um, didn't play yesterday for the Kansas City Chiefs, but I like Willie Gay's. Um, I like Willie Gay's game. I think pairing him with Roquan would be be fine. But again, I don't know how the money will work out with those guys. But again, this is just a wish list. Now, ending this, I don't have anything for the cornerback position or the D line position. None of those guys jumped out to me. So I think that's what we need to go in a draft or trade. Draft or trade for for those positions, um, but this is kind of where we at, man. I think we're gonna be looking at about maybe thirty million or so to spend in free agency, maybe more. But I'm again, I'm not a not a numbers salary cap guy because the cap is cap. So they got all these different rules that kind of makes my head spin at times. But in my mind, I'm gonna go with my numbers. I'm looking at us having about thirty million dollars to spend in free agency, and um, Got a lot of holes to fill. Cause when I, when I scroll back up at this list, that's a lot of lot of spots in yellow, a lot of blank spots. You're looking at quarterback position, Lamar Malik. Running back position, you got uh, Davin Cook with twenty thousand, so he's probably gone. Let me take Davin off too. He on, we only he only cost us twenty thousand uh, dollars. Keaton Mitchell, Justice Hill, only two guys signed. Then you got Pat Ricard too. Receivers, uh, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Tylen Wallace. Should be Thailand, not Thailand. 
and tight ends. We got all three of our tight ends back. So we solid there for the time being. Mark just under this blue blue line with 14 million too. Mark and Mark and Mark and Marcus Williams make the same thing. Like Mark maybe trade bait. Maybe. Maybe. I, you know, maybe. And then um, let's see. O line. One, two, you got three of your starters signed. You got Stanley, Linda Bum, and Morgan Moses signed. You got to replace your guards. Being Cleveland, maybe could do it. Um, Salah, Falele, Voorhees is a name a lot of people tend to throw out there. Linebackers, you're looking at Roquan and Trent Simpson and Dale Sean Phillips as far as interior guys. Um, edge guys, Robinson, Owe, Ojabo, Stephen Means, maybe. Then interior guys, you got Michael Pierce, Brock Washington, and Travis Jones. Pierce and Washington just signed extensions. Travis Jones still in his rookie deal. And then DBs, you're looking at Kyle Hamilton, Brandon Stevens, two starters. Geno Stone could maybe is still there. Marlon Humphrey. So your entire DB, defensive secondary should be back. That that started. Kyle, Marcus, Marlon, Geno, and um, maybe some depth pieces with Pepe and Jalen Loma Davis, depending on how health fits them. But – Again, a lot of holes. Where do we go? We don't know, but the draft process starts now. Um, hopefully, a contingency is on their way to Mobile to look at the senior bowl practices, so I'll be checking out that stuff too. And again, um, draft stuff starts soon. Soon. I appreciate everybody for the season, man. Yesterday was, even though we lost, the stream yesterday was a literal movie to me. I was so grateful for the people that showed up, uh, donated, uh, kicked in the chat you know we had great conversations thankful for the callers that called in to the call in show and i uh, just you know appreciate you guys for what you did for the channel and or for the 2023 season uh we hope to make 2020 i know we hope we are going to make 2024 better from from my point of view for this channel and the team the team's going to do better in 2024 also uh with that being said it's a lot to work out a lot to deal with a lot of things gonna be different the team's gonna have a different identity and let's figure out a way to get to the Super Bowl and be playing in the second February and Sunday in 2025. Uh, this is all I have for you. I appreciate you guys coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love.